What kind of crabs are they? Uh, Brett's gonna cook crabs, because I don't know what to do with these. <laughs> They're alive. Are they? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Where are they from? Uh, what? local. They're local crabs, so this guy goes around delivering seafood. And then... <laughs> I'm gonna put them over here. When life gives you crabs, you usually go to the doctor to get a prescription to fix the itch. But today, we're gonna cook them. To give to me, it was a gift, right? Yep. I want you and Brett to cook this one tonight for dinner. Crabs? How do you do it, Boyle? Neil just showed up while I'm waiting for Bo Ding, and he's giving me crabs, or he wants me and Brett to cook them. <laughs> They're alive? Yeah, it's, it's alive. Oh my gosh. Love you, man. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> I always watch you and Brett. I've never cooked these before ever in my entire life. Not ever. I literally just looked up on the internet, uh, a recipe to cook these crabs and the first one that came up it was some Pinoy recipe where instead of using water to boil the crab they use seven up. Ooh. Ba, 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 ba. Which is what I just went and got from 7-Eleven. I'm back now. Hi guys. Hello. We're gonna boil them in the seven up. I know that sounds weird but it must add a nice sweet aspect to the flavor profile. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I'm practicing my my grammar for cooking. It makes sense. The recipe also called for what are these? What are those? Get close up. Oh, and, oh, mm. ajos. 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 This is pretty much the same recipe as garlic butter prawns, but we got crabs. So garlic butter, sprite crabs, a little bit of salt. First things first. This is, I, you, do you cook them with these on? I don't know, dude, maybe. Okay, we'll, we'll rinse them first. So here we go. I, I've actually, I've never cooked crabs. I've had crabs growing up on the Pacific West Coast. I don't have a camera to look at. <laughs> look over there. <laughs> I had them growing up, because me and you are both from the West Coast. It's a very prominent thing to have on your dinner table is West Coast seafood. Represent. Nice word choice, uh, prominent. West Coast, West Coast, best coast. So yeah, this is the first time. We're cooking it up. Ooh. Rinse them with some fresh water because you don't know what's on there. You know? It could be uh, remnants of the ocean. There could be COVID. Hopefully not. That's why we're rinsing them. Clean them off. Bust open garlic. Garlic. Clean as you go. It makes everything easier. So the A lot of people like to use their knife to go like this. Like you can, you can just go like that, and then you know, like, like dice it up like that. But what I like to do. If this little piece is on, you just grab your palm, you push, and it should just pop out of its skin. Oh, that was not the greatest example. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try that again. A little press, bang. You don't have to press too hard, you don't want to smush it. And then it should just. Oh, <laughs> oh. Hey, that's actually pretty hey. easy. Clean yeah. and clear, beautiful. It's Maybelline. Is it Maybelline or is that Herbal Essence, the girl with the big gap to you? Every good chef has, and I'm not a chef, I'm just an amateur cook that loves to cook and make people smile and laugh. But every good chef or baker or whatever has got one of these. What's up? A food scale! Okay, if you need to measure and weigh stuff, just get one of these. I bought this off Amazon for like, I think it was 20 bucks. 
and it does it every unit. It's got grams, kilograms, pounds, uh, ounces, milliliters, and measures in milk. It's got a milk setting. I don't know. Just boom. Wait, okay, we got, okay, we'll do grams. So the bowl weighs 373, you reset it. Okay, zero ounces, milliliters, adds a crab. So we got just a little over half a kilo of crab. I can't remember what the rest we called for, but we're just gonna bring it on sweat buckets right now. I got eyes sweat. We gotta boost our moon systems then. Oh, whoa, boost yeah, it's, boosted, it's boosted with some boost floor garlic. Everything. That was like the exploding talong, man. No, no, nothing tops the exploding talong, man. <sighs> whoa! Exploding talongs. Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I love it! I don't know how many of you commented on that video telling me to poke the talong. There's probably two or three thousand comments on that video now, and I guarantee you 50% of that was people telling me to poke the talong so it doesn't explode. Maybe you yeah, should. That's all part of the fun. I'm not ever gonna poke it. That's my way. Maybe. I, will, I, will. I mean, you can never go wrong with too much. Garlic and butter, right? Are they still alive? Yeah, and I think they're excited. Look at it. Ooh, getting excited. Gonna go home, guys. Goes to the tummy of bread from Canada. This is how I <laughs> mince my garlic. I don't know if any of you have ever done it this way before. All you gotta do, you know what? We'll use the little Krabby Patties that are in the bowl here. Watch this, Kyle. Ready? <laughs> oh no, that didn't work. You need some flat and hard, like this. Good. Do you see this? What's that? Pot. It's a pan. It's not a pot. That's a pot. Oh, that's a pan. It's a pan. Peter Pan. I'm the man. Garlic? <laughs> Gotta hit it. Brett? It's not working as well as I thought, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was sorry. really loud. Sorry, sorry. Let's give it a nice little... I've been using my right hand a lot, it's pretty strong. Quarantine does weird things. It doesn't have to be perfect, whatever. We're doing speed crabs today, it's cool. Um, actually, what you can do is you can put a little bit of salt in with it to give it like a little bit of a coarse grind. And you can actually mush it, mush it back. Not like that, I'm, this is a very bad representation. You're supposed to, I need a bigger knife. Okay, never mind, scratch that. Don't put that in. I don't like cutting lives of any live species, but we got crabs given to us. They're gonna die anyways, so we're making the most of it. Sprite? No, this is 7 Up. 7 Up in the pot with the crabs. We're just gonna let these crabs have a little nap, and after these few messages, we'll see you then. If you eat meat, if you eat fish, you should just know where it comes from and how it comes from point A to point B. Respect your food. Respect your food. I respect this. I respect you guys. Look at they're taking a little nap. I shouldn't be doing this. Don't use metal in a nonstick pan. That is it's Teflon and you'll ruin the pan. The sugar is reduced completely, which was not the plan, but you were downstairs and I had to yell for your name to come back up. Oh, okay. It's your fault, pal. You're fine. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Garlic. That should be enough. I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. You live and learn. Don't stress. It's all about progress. Nothing's perfect. Remember that. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes progress. <laughs> that looks pretty good. That actually... That looks good. Dude, look at that. Wow. I think this is done. Let's eat. Freshly cooked bready crabs. <laughs> oh. Beauty. Beauty bite! Look at this. How long do you think it took? 45 minutes? Uh, 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I think. Maybe a little longer because we're having so much fun. You guys. Pinoy style. Alimango! Tong, 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 kaki, tong, ki, tong, alimi. Well, what the hell? That was actually pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty hard to mess up a simple dish like that. It's just four ingredients. Butter, garlic, Sprite, or 7-Up, and crabs. That's it. So, claw. Yeah, cake okay, claw. I don't know if I'm going to open it. But... Ooh! At the end there, I did have it a little too high in the heat. So it... Yeah, but... Look at that. So it caramelized oh, like dude, a little too much. Oh, dude, there's legit meat in there. Dude. Ooh! Ooh! Actually, a tip too, if you want to break open some crab, use the back of a big knife like this to crack. It works very well. The sauce is killer. Oh my, holy smokes. Mm. Oh! Well, Dude, that's just... Knife. Look at that! I got the meat out. That's a very... Honestly, I think that's perfectly cooked. Me too, dude. We're knocking this over with a knife. Bro! Legit! These are actually legit. I would buy these crabs. Like these, oh, as long as they're cooked like this. It's really good. Yeah, man. Never know until you try. Don't be afraid to try new things, guys. I've never cooked this in my life. And that's good. Dude, you just did like nail it. Mm. Did I nail it? Mm. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you barely really nailed it. Honestly, they're perfect. Yeah, they're perfect. So easy to open. Wow. Did you cook these perfectly, though? Like legit perfect. Oh my gosh, Brad, this is your future, TikTok and cooking. You guys, I dropped my first TikTok yesterday. By the time you see this, probably two days ago, we're growing. We're growing on there. TikTok star, up and coming. Follow me there, the link is in my description. We're gonna have some fun. Back, dude, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. <laughs> Not bad. I think I could add a little bit more salt, but I use salt and butter, so. It's all Gucci, baby. That is the vlog for today, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bread Stable. I'm sorry it took so long, but hey, when life gives you crabs, you gotta cook them. <coughs> Jesus. If you're not already subscribed to myself, and Kyle, hit those subscribe buttons, slap those like buttons upside the heads if you enjoy our videos. Always. You guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Look pretty game. Mm. So good. I'm thinking my fingers.